Pantheon EQs. Um, but this is just a display of a four-band parametric EQ. Too much to go in depth in right now. But we'll look at this EQ curve over here. And if you remember in the overview, the inspector overview, I told you that this EQ and this EQ are the same thing. They're just different displays. So if I make a change on this EQ over here, you'll see the same change happening on this EQ. So whatever I change on the EQ on this track shows up on both of these EQs. This is actually called, this right here is actually called a parametric EQ. We'll learn about that in the tutorials on parametric. And this is called a paragraphic because it works like a parametric, but it lets you see what you're doing. This is adding treble, this is adding mids, this is adding bass, this is taking out bass, taking a, out mids, taking out treble. This is a parametric, but it's graphic because we can see what we're actually doing to the EQ. So we call it a paragraphic. Uh, here, check it out. <laughs> flexible version of this EQ. Remember I said that whenever you see, see this icon with this italic E in Cubase or Nuendo that opens the edit window. So if you want to go be able to go in here and have more control over this EQ, you click on the edit window and you'll see the same EQ over here, but it gives you several more settings. We'll learn in the EQing tutorials. But this is a little bit more of a powerful way to open your EQ and adjust them over here. Uh, it's more powerful than opening it up over here. But I got to say, it's really common for me. Oh, and by the way, if you want to shut these off, you have to come over here and shut them off over here. But it's really common for me in a mix to just feel like I want to have a little treble in it and to just come over here and go that. It's it's actually pretty common. Or to just feel like I want to uh, take out some bass or something. It's actually pretty common for me to do that. Uh, EQing is a whole course in itself. So we're going to do several tutorials on that.